SFC Fan TV, I'm Sean Middleton and today I'm in the town centre. We're at Sunderland's ninth league game of the season. Today we were down at Priest, the Priestfield Stadium, the home of Gillingham Football Club. The game has just ended and the final score was Gillingham nil, Sunderland two. And now I'll be getting the fans' reactions as they leave the pubs in the town centre. Could you please like, share, comment to our channel and most of all, Remember to subscribe, it doesn't cost a penny, it's absolutely free and we're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 and we couldn't do it without you, so please subscribe to our channel and I keep on seeing this every week and I seem like a broken record but we'll absolutely love it, love it, if you subscribe to our channel and it costs nothing, thank you time. Alright, I'm in the town centre and I'm with Jack Shields, it's Sunderland's ninth league game of the season after the disappointing last week, Jack with the, the, the Portsmouth game, we lost 3-1, we were well beaten. And then the draw against Rochdale during the week. The fans were feeling very uh, disappointed and angry. But I think today, um, and I people say, well, oh, you expected to beat Gillingham. But in the day, we turned up. Um, Phil Pottinson made two good choices. He dropped uh, Power and Dobson. I think he's got to take some credit. I thought we played uh, well. It was a solid performance. And then we're back on track, do you think, now? Or? So, well, it's back to winning ways, isn't it? It's, yeah. We're grinding results. That was much more like what I had earlier in the season a few few weeks ago when we were grinding results out with keeping clean sheets and uh, winning the match. I thought today the performance wasn't great. I thought in spells in the first half, we were the better team on top. As, as I've spoken to you a few times before, I thought the only thing that was lacking was the final ball. It was either the final cross, yeah. whether in the crossing position wasn't good, or the final finish on goal wasn't good, you know, we got in a couple of decent positions and we couldn't get that final finishing touch. Second half they improved, I don't know what Steve Evans had said to them, but I thought they were better than they put us under the pressure and obviously they got the penalty and for, funny in football the way it changes, I mean, they have the penalty with 11 men, the score that we're 1-0 down, we're looking like we're going to lose, but luckily Lee Burge saves the penalty two minutes later, their lad gets sent off and the, the game spins on its head and then it was a case of can we, can we go on and win the game? And thankfully we did. Like Jack's just knocked the nail on the head there as well, uh, as he always does. Class lad. Um, I haven't mentioned this in the three interviews, but for me it's a, it's a massive part in the game. You concede the, the penalty. And I was watching it uh, and the other way when we were thinking, oh, this gun's in, you know what I mean? You take the lead. Thankfully, Leach Bird saved it. And was I think the send off was the send off after that or was it just was just after, just the after the so that it was, about, you get, it was only a couple of minutes later, it can't have been more than a minute or two. You get the get you get the, the penalty save and then you get the send off and yeah. the, the, the urgency it changes towards us. Yeah, well I think I, I thought the penalty was a little bit soft. I know he, he did nudge him as the lad, but I thought he was looking to go down anyway. But the referee gives it and then you start to think is it gonna be one of them days, you know. We had a few chances in the first half, we missed it and if this goes in. Thankfully it didn't wasn't the best of penalty and then luckily the lad kicked it in the ground and went over for the rebound and then you're thinking it's a let off. And then it looks like even better let off when two minutes late. And it was a bad tackle. I thought it was a, was a send off there. Lad goes in, studs up late. I think it was at Lugo 9 it was on, I think. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a bad tackle. Yeah. I don't know. Steve Evans was moaning and complaining about something. I don't think he had too many complaints. Yeah. Um, we've got the penalty and score it again. You know, things change in football. You, you couldn't look at it you know, simply as they, they missed their penalty. We scored ours. And like I say, I don't think it was a great performance. I don't think it was. I think it's definite improvements. People will say we got a little bit lucky. You know, people will say on another day that penalty goes in for Gillingham when we stood here saying we got beat 1 0. Do you know what I mean? That's football. It can change in, in moments like that. Um, I think, in terms of just looking at the players themselves and how they played, I thought Lebert was key again. I know he had his off day against Portsmouth and he didn't play well, but I thought he, he really got the tempo at 0 0. It was a case of they were going to sit back and, and try and frustrate us, and we've had it time and time again in League yeah, One where yeah, teams sit yeah. deep, they frustrate us, they start dropping down injury, dropping down injured, saying that they injured to uh, waste time. 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 Yeah, and yeah. Um, and it was a case of him getting us going. I thought he was speeding the tempo up, he was getting getting the passes going and, and really upping the upping the tempo, the urgency, and I think I got the breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think one of them you've got to look at it. I think it's always going to be the case of Phil Parkinson. People moan about his style of play. And I think you can throw it out when we don't win. But when we're winning games, with all due respect to the fans, you look, look at it, who cares? You know, 1-2-0, no, got a clean sheet. Yes, I might have got a little bit fortunate with the penalty today. But I think in terms of the win, it's a good win. We're back, back on track. And we've got a pitch on Tuesday night. Can we keep it up? Hopefully we'll get another win there. For me, uh, Jack, it was the, the biggest thing for me, as uh, me and Mike and Bose keep on seeing on the, uh, on the channel, is um, keeping the clean sheets. Jesus, last two games we've conceded five goals. Yeah. I mean, considering a team that didn't concede many at all, we've conceded five. So to get back, you know, keeping a clean sheet, uh -huh. 
And, you know, I think I always say if you keep a clean sheet, you know, win the games. And I know, like, you know, we'll, you, you said we were lucky in obviously the penalty decision. I mean, the Birch saved it and then they got sent off. And then, the, it, it, you know, the game sort of on our side and we up the tempo a little bit. I'm glad that we've got that little bit of, bit of luck because I think at times we, we deserve it because we, in the last two years, the referees have been pretty poor in this division. Yeah, I think well, I think that's Parkinson's style, isn't it? He's never going to be someone that you're going to enjoy watching his football. You know, I think that he's known for that, but he, he is someone that can get a settled team and grinding out results, and that's why the last two results are so out of character. It looked like he cracked it, really, didn't he? We were uh, grinding yeah, results out. Yeah. We were getting one nils and two nils and a couple of nil nils in there, and we were keeping clean sheets, and it looked like, yeah, we're doing all right. And then suddenly, individual errors last week against Portsmouth, I think, cost us. It was nine cost us a goal, led, but it cost us a goal last week. And then two sloppy defending from two sloppy pieces of defending from the, the, court, the crosses into the box on Tuesday night against Rochdale. Um, but today we'll look more steady. I don't think they really, really threatened us other than the penalty that they had. Um, they, had they had the penalty, which obviously you know they probably could go in. But I didn't really felt like they were going to really cause us too many problems. And you know it was just a case of could we get the goal to get the win. And luckily we got we got one. And then the breakaway goal was good as well. I like I like the uh, fact that tough. I think it was good, wasn't it? Go to ran in and uh, he had the bravery to win the header. That's what I like. He put his head in where he could have got yeah. kicked and and then ran it and slotted it in to, to calm us down. But it's always a chore watching Sullen, isn't it? You know, we could have got that, <laughs> that second. we could have got that second five minutes early and would have been uh, all right, you know, but it's always it's always a hassle, we'll always make hard work of it. But thankfully we've got the win. Uh, exactly. It's like you see it's happy days. I mean, I was at work on Tuesday and I was doing the gloom, but you know, we're getting a win, we're back in the top six, I don't know what we're gonna be at uh, five o'clock the deer. Unfortunately Boris Johnson's uh, gonna uh, do a, a live broadcast at five PM as well. I mean we could be back in lo uh, national lockdown again. That's not going to be good, is it? Yeah, it's, it's not good. I mean, when we're coming here watching the matches, there's a little bit of normality. Everyone would like to be back in the stadium, like new away matches and everything. So that's, it's disappointing if we're going to go back in the lockdown again. And obviously fans won't be able to come to the pubs. They'll have to watch them in the houses and, and things like that. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, but, you know, there's, it's where we are as a country at the minute, isn't it? We just have to have to deal with it as best as we can. I mean, I, I hate it and I'm sure everyone else hates it. We want to return back to normality. But the main thing is that people stay safe above all else, you know. Forget the money, forget the economy and everything, as long as everybody stays That's safe. And, you know, you, you would hate, you, the way it looking at it is, you would hate someone when you want to die from it, do you know what I mean? So, Jack, um, obviously, quickly, um, I know you're going to um, be on, the, on our channel soon, hopefully in the live shows. Um, best moment of the game or uh, man of the match? Uh, well, I, it's, easy to, it's always easy to say the goal scorers, but I, I would say Grant Lebeda because I think he was key in keeping us calm, getting us going again, you know, getting the speed of the pass, passing up in possession, getting us going to get that goal. So I'll give it to him, although why you put yourself about and Gooch got the goal, obviously, but I would, I'll probably give it to Grant Lebeda. The moment of the match is Steve Evans. I think he's he's a joke, him. I mean, every, 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 every game he seems to have something to say. And do you see how big his court was, man? It's, like, it's ever big as a duvet, that man. Oh, man. Absolute joke, that. I think it, isn't, it just makes me laugh at him. Like, I think he needs to curb it. Like. <laughs> Two weeks in the way you've got us, John. <laughs> Thanks for your time, pal. Stay, stay safe, buddy. Stay I'm in the town centre and I'm a sheer, sheer. Obviously, the game has just finished. Gillian, I'm nil, Sun and two. Um, I think it was a, a good performance by Sun. Obviously, they had to, you know, after the disappointment game last week against Portsmouth oh. and the Rochdale game, I think today was it, it was all about getting the three points. Aye. We need some more points on the table, like. Uh, because if we didn't get didn't any more points, we're not gonna we're gonna struggle in this league. Uh, we need some more points, really. Right. I mean, um, to, to, were, you, were you confident going the, in the game here? I, I was a bit like on, on the fence. I, I, the last two games have been pretty poor, but I think the day were. I think there's a lot, a lot of people have been seeing the players of uh, obviously um, Parkinson's lost the dressing room. Yeah. Now I can categorically say that after watching the game today, he hasn't lost the dressing room. Yeah. Uh, I think Scowan, he needs to start every game. Like uh, he is, like Scowan, like he is the main player in our team. Like, I like Scowan, he is, a, he's a good lad. Uh, I think we need to play Gooch all the time because he he runs the team really. Uh, we need to we need to get Gooch more in or nine. <laughs> he needs to play a bit more. Like he needs to make more more runs because because uh, White White plays well with. Uh, Oh nine, right. crossing it in, and Hume, obviously being the wingers, and like I think the left wing back and uh, right Dem wing back. Dem yeah, Dem he's Dem a good eye. Uh, right yeah. What do you make of obviously um, Maguire got dropped today? I mean, he dropped Power and Dobson. They, that was like obviously they were really Power yeah. against Rochdale, but he dropped Maguire as well. And a lot of people say, well, Maguire's our piece of magic. We dropped Maguire, but he's and the dear partners has made the decisions, and we won two 0 
Maguire is the main is the main player for me. He is he is, he is a great he's player, Maguire. He needs he just needs to, he needs to improve his fitness because when I see him, he'll only play sixty minutes. That's uh, the, that's that a, like that's a like sixty minutes that's is the only the, the, that's all he can play really. Yeah. So that's for me. It's, uh, Maguire needs to play and improve his fitness. I mean, a lot, a lot of people's first year, a lot of people's been seeing that. Well, you know, um, Parkinson's he he's, he divides the fans' opinions, and the, after the watching the game on Tuesday night, they were kicking off and saying he's got to go. But do you think that was a little bit premature because it's only part of a good side, Rochdale, fair enough. But they have, Rochdale won three, won the game against us. I believe that, well, you know, sometimes it gets a bit un, unfair criticism, but I think he's, you know, keeps on proving people wrong for me. Portsmouth, for me, are a championship side, and we're not. We need to buy, we need, in the midfield, obviously, power, we've got power, and we've got. Uh, who's the Le other midfield? Ledbetter. Ledbetter's a bit slow for me. Obviously, he's got only got a couple of years left. Yeah. We need another. We need another centre mid. We need another. We need another strong centre mid to link with power. Power is the main 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 player in our team. Same as Maguire. We've got power. Oh nine and Maguire are the best players for me. Good lads. I like to see it. Uh, what do you th I mean, Charlie Wake. I mean, he, I thought he held the ball really well. He didn't score, but. He, um, he, I think uh, it's Parkinson, he's the main man in our strikers at the minute. Mm. Ah, he, Park, he's, Park, he's a good manager. I'd rate Party really much. Like he's a good manager. He's a good. He's good for us. Like, but he needs to bring another centre mid in because yeah. going forward, White is a good player. He's a he's a poacher. So that's what he does. He scores goals, yeah. and we need someone to give him the service. Yeah. But there's no service at all for him. Man, the match me or, or best moment in the game. Uh, I'd give 0-9 man of the match. 0-9 is a hell of a player for us. He, he works his pluck out. He's a hell of a player. Are we back on track now? Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's a hard one. It's a hard one. We need we need to keep we need a team that is going to play week in week out. Yeah. More for uh, for me, we kind of keep changing. Obviously, we've had four. I think it was four changes this game. Yeah. We need to keep playing the way we're playing. We need a we need a big team. We need a team that's going to play week in week out. Thanks for your time. Right, Cheers, pal. Stay safe. The game has just finished. Gillingham nil, Sunderland uh, two. And with Chrissy, Chrissy obviously we won the game. Um, I think it was pretty imperative that after the the Portsmouth game last week, yeah. and then the Washington game midweek, it was just all about getting back to winning ways. Yeah. Well, we won. That's the most important thing. I think it was very scrappy. It wasn't a great display, but the three points is all that matters. To be fair, that's yeah. all that matters. We got them. We'll move on to the next game. What do you think of the team selection? He dropped um, Maguire, Power, and Dobson. I don't know, Maguire was a surprise, but Dobson and Power, I think the four defensive midfielders are the same. None of them's great. We haven't got really much attack and flair, but we'll end up getting promoted. I, f I hope, hopefully, I've got a bet on it anyways. <laughs> I mean, I, I was hopeful, but obviously, you know, the, the post of game, and I we were well beaten that day. Watched you, I was at work. By seeing the goals, we, I mean, my mates have said we were absolutely diabolical that night. I mean, if we'd lost a deer, do you think the pressure would have been, you know, massively on uh, on Phil Partington? I think it's massively on him, anyways. I don't think most fans wanted him. I think the Portsmouth game were lost because fans weren't there. I think the fans would have sorted it out. That's what I think the last two seasons happened. But I think no one really wants Parky. He needs to stop like changing ideas, like. McGeady, he needs to give another chance to bygones, big bygones. He's our best player, there's no denying it. Give him another chance and let, let's see what happens because at the minute we're struggling. Chrissy is the first person to mention this and I think it's been, uh, you know, it's been well documented that um, Eden McGeady, he spoke out on the, the Lewis Morgan situation. So Lewis Morgan said certain things. McGeady, McGeady has that categorically de denied that. Um, McGeady on his day is probably is he arguably the best player in this division? Oh, arguably. Easily, so if easily. they could just like have a, have a little sit down, talk about it, you've got a crack and play there. And he's, he's not, he, he, we'll pay his vision for another season, so we might as well even just talk about it. What I look at is it is it Parky not doing it, or is it Stuart Donald saying let's well, not play him? That's, that's the thing. That's like I look at Marcus Madison, the fans wanted them, I wanted them to be honest, and he's went to Charlton because we couldn't afford him. Come on, uh, you know what I mean? It was all oh, this weird as this. Them are the same struggles as us. I never get that with the with the Marcus Mars. I mean, me and Michael Bowser said the same thing. How can you 
like uh, all the clubs on the same uh, wage cap, and I see all oh, the sun's got a massive wage. I, that's that, that's irrelevant. We we should have went from. We could have paid him the same amount, and we it's cheaper up here. He supports us. Oh, uh, he wanted to play for us. He was crying out to play for us, but we said no. Yeah. But that's because, well, the way the club's been run at the minute, it's not it's not what we want. Yeah. The fans alone, we don't want it. It's Parkinson wasn't our first choice. He was Parkinson here because he was the cheapest option, and that's it. He, he gets a few good results, and then it doesn't help. But a few one nils, it's not great. The performance today wasn't good enough. I was on the phone yesterday to, to um, William Story. I, I know he's taught us not to see things, but to be honest, uh, when I talked for about 20 minutes on the phone, and he basically says he's telling us the situation um, that this takeover, what's apparently going on, it's, it's it all is is a switch of hands. So Sartori and maybe a couple of the Americans will come in, but uh, sneaky, dirty fuck. Uh, swore, excuse the language. Swore there. I had to bleep it out. Keep going. Right, um, obviously Donald is there. Uh, is if he keeps a, a stake in the club, um, in Methven and Sartori, then it's it's not a takeover. And it's, even if you bring two other people in who's taking over majority shares. You're still keeping Sneaky Donald in, yeah, who's pinched, pinched 20 million. Is that what the cup now? They don't need an uh, EFL like, check. sort of check, yeah. And that might be one of the reasons. Yeah. Because if it weren't for uh, like that Santori's uncle from Monaco, yeah. they wouldn't have got the club. They've given him, they've give him 20% right. to get the club from now. And honest, yeah. it's great business to be fair, but. They've just, they've to, to be honest, I, 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 I'm, you know, William Story, I mean, he gets a lot of stick on Twitter and this, that, and the other, but. Uh, you know, he's got a, he's got a great um, um, he's got great ambitions for the club. He's got four four money men behind him. He's obviously named two of them. I can't see it. So but so, the problem is, still done a lot of great stuff with the club. The thing is, well, the short is he had money, but he was American. No offense to Americans, is them them don't know football. That's the problem. They don't know football. Uh, most of them don't. It was the same. Every club of Americans own, they don't know. Look at Manchester United, look at Aston Villa. The, the Americans have come in, no, they try to change everything and it doesn't work for them. It doesn't work at all. Right, pretty mate, because time's getting on. Um, are you confident going forward? Now, who do you thought was the best player to do? Oh, best player to do? Lee Burge. And am I confident? Confident? I used to be. But I think we'll still get promoted. Thank you, time, pal. Have a see if, uh, have a, have a see if Johnny on. Junior Neil Sunderland 2, Sunderland's ninth year of the season with Ron and Deb. Deb. <laughs> Get that right this time. Obviously, uh, for me, it's after the Watch Shield game was disappointing, Ron. I was uh, there. I mean, I was at work sport. and I mean, I watched it back when I got home. It was a really poor display. And you're thinking the writing's on the, on the wall for, for, uh, two, for two, Phil Partinson. But, yeah. I mean, the, the, the positive were a good side, but we bounced back. To DM of beat Jenny Marpit to see they've lost four in, a, four in a row, but we're getting back to winning ways, and I think that's all that mattered here. Yeah, that's true, but we, I'm glad he changed it. He changed the midfield. Yeah. We had two rubbish midfielders, and your yeah. favourite player. Dobson <laughs> Power. <laughs> Did I mention yeah. Power? Absolute <laughs> Power doesn't even know what year it is, never mind what day it is. No, it absolutely like rubbish. Hero. Max Powers is a superhero name. That's absolutely <laughs> rubbish. I don't yep. think no Dobson's him. worse than him. Ah, oh, Dobson, I know. Dobson. Worse. Absolute. Uh, he wouldn't play for a five-a-side team. <laughs> he wouldn't play for our five-a-side team. Definitely. He's absolutely rubbish. Yeah. Today the midfield was better. Right. Scored and played well. Then uh, better. He, he, did, he did his normal. Fascinating. Yep. Yeah. And he said to the referee, why are we not getting free kicks? Uh, the referee was probably winning. Absolutely rubbish that yeah. first half. Yeah. Rubbish. They were they were falling left, right, and centre, yeah. getting free kicks for nothing. We were getting booked for it. Yeah. And when a guy like Ledbetter comes to him and says, "What's happening?" and he just says, "Go away. Uh, just go away." Yeah. Terrible referee and uh, that. I mean, absolutely shocking. Run the team selection for me. I mean, I was I was a jack there. I was uh, when I sent the team selection. I was like, oh. sorry, b before the game. I was worried, but then he, 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 um, James Hunter, the reporter for the Chronicle, he, he um, named the team, and I was like, do you know what, looking at the team, that's a good selection. He's, he's dropped Dobson and Power, so he's sure people that he's not a yes man, because a lot of people say he is, but he's dropped his captain, so that says a lot. Do you know what I mean? And, he, and he's, he, you know, he takes a lot of criticism, but I think he's got to take the plaudits today where he's dropped his captain, right? 
and he's made a couple of changes and we've won the game and I thought yeah, we won it, we were comfortable and we, we could have won three or four to be honest oh, for a clinic yeah. especially the second half especially oh. we tore them apart the second half, before they send it off a weak penalty for them yeah. weak very weak penalty for them good save by the keeper like good save by the keeper but it, there again the linesman didn't give it the referee gave it from a long distance yeah. Sorry, no, from a long distance, give us from a long distance, the referee uh, was nowhere near it. See, it was our penalty, the referee give it, who was just there, yeah. as far as I was concerned, and the lights would give it. And I watched the replay, I was, I don't know, I was going on, I mean, was it definitely a penalty like one, was it? For hours, aye, yeah. definitely a penalty. There, oh, I, I wasn't both. sure, no. Both. Both, both penalties? You reckon? Only qualified referee, yeah. I don't know, because he's, he's pretty clued up like, but... Both. <laughs> <laughs> but it was weak, it was a weak one. Yeah, 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 it was a weak one. 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 I've seen them given, I've seen them not given. I, I, I look like a penalty. Yeah. yeah, but the the referee, the lines were always there, right? he didn't give anything, he played, played on. The lines were just played on, he said. If you notice his flag was up, I play know. on. You get told as a lines with the, the, the ref to Yeah, the but that's still weak by this referee who's been poor. Again, a poor, poor referee. We got, what, four, four free kicks in the first half? How many did they get? How many boogers did we get in the first half for nothing? Uh, yeah, yeah. For nothing? Yeah, yeah. No, we've got to have better referees. And even you could probably do better, Jack. <laughs> a 70 year old kid could do better than that referee today. I think I could do better than that. <laughs> Aren't you, you, you made a good point. I mean, you know, at the time, when we won, we were third on the table. I mean, obviously now we've just checked just, just there. There was six as it stands. Obviously, we've got the game in hand, um, but the, the, the other teams kicked off at three o'clock. Um, obviously, next week's the FA Cup, but I think everybody will be aware now that Boris Johnson is going to uh, announce. Oh, yeah. He's got a live. Dip, uh, he's got a live uh, broadcast at five five o'clock. Uh, I think we could be in another lockdown. Yeah. So it's a pretty What's sad. That mean? The games are cancelled. It's pretty sad. I mean, I've got to think of people with me mental health. I mean, I struggled through the, the lockdown three months. I, I was my son kept us active and I was I was all right, but a few of my mates on Twitter did, but. It's, if it happens, if it looks like it's going to happen, I mean, well, the, you worry about people who suffer and it's... The, the government has made a right arse of this, totally. They've done the wrong decisions at the wrong time. They've made it too late, too little. First time and granted. Yep. Yeah. And now they've, now they've made it too late again because the, their scientists said a month ago, mm -hmm. a month ago, lockdown, but no. Right, quickly, because I'll move on now because uh, it's getting time. Um, Ron, um, best part of the game or man of the match? Denver Hume for me. He never stopped running. He never does, does he? never stopped he never running. Does, uh, he he tried his best. best. He, he went up and down a few times on there. Well, we're looking at you a couple of times with him. Ron, I want to give, obviously, your daughter. I want to, I want to she's obviously getting dressed up as there <laughs> on, on Halloween. So I want you to give, you, I, I want to give your daughter a mark set with 10. For, 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 Costume. I'll give her a nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give yourself? I think I'm a ten, mate. I'm a elephant. <laughs> well, you're a perfect twelve. <laughs> right, thanks for your time, Ari. Right, cheers. 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 Thank Enjoy your Halloween, Ari. Right, take care.